All right, guys, out at the pond, Fishy Baker here. Um, just caught a bluegill. I had a bass try and eat it on the way in, so I threw it on a big hook, put on a bobber, and he just got eaten. So, yeah, this has been like the first two minutes of fishing. Um, I caught a bluegill. A bass almost ate it right at the shoreline as I was reeling the bluegill in. Then I threw him out there on a big bobber and a hook. And uh, there is a big bobber straight out there but uh it's like three feet under because this bass is just currently stripping line I'm letting him eat it for a while and uh i've got 20 pound braid on here straight to the hook i don't know how big this fish is it seemed like a pretty big swirl when he tried to eat it next to the shoreline so um yeah i'm just letting him eat it for quite some time here he's still just shredding line Don't want him to go into the weeds eventually though, so I think I'm gonna set him here in a little bit. Here we go. Oh man, my drag slipped. Feels, feels big though, feels big. Oh man, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. He's either in weeds or this is a monster. This could be a giant. Uh, I think he's partially in weeds, but it's not a bad fish. No, he's, he's all in a ton of weeds, but still a really nice fish, especially to start out the day. yeah look at that baby heck yeah look at the freaking size of that fish bluegill down his throat that's a four and a half pounder all day go through the gills to get that hook out Boom, hook is out. Let's take a look at this fish to start out the day. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? Look at the size of this bass. Look at the belly on that thing, and he's got another one down his throat. Oh man, <laughs> is that a giant bass? Oh my gosh, guys. Two minutes into fishing, middle of the afternoon, late August, week before I have to leave for college. And there he goes, a freaking pig to start out the day. Considering how quick that one ate, I'm guessing there's a school of them up here close. I was out here yesterday with a couple of friends and we stuck a five and a quarter and a bunch of other ones right around three pounds. Did not have the camera rolling, but I figured I'd bring the camera today because, you know, probably should after you have a day like that. Boy, that's a heck of a start. We very well might be on another big school of them, so I got to try and catch another bluegill as fast as I can here. And I'll show you guys how I'm rigging up these bluegills. And this can be a deadly summertime tactic for big largemouth. There's a bluegill. This is a perfect size one. Uh, hopefully he's not gullet hook. You do want him to be kind of lively on the hook. Okay, well that came out pretty easily. Well, this is all I got. Bigger bobber here. To a big hook. Honestly, I forget how big this hook is. I've had these hooks for a long time. I think these are eagle claw hooks, but or maybe trocar. But just make sure, I mean this hook was red until I've caught so many fish on it. You've got these sharp spines here. I go 
right behind where those sharp ones stop, right through the back. We've got them down just a few feet. This pond is not super deep. Otherwise, if you're fishing a slightly deeper place, you can let out like six or seven feet just because the bluegill is going to swim wherever. The bobber is just basically to let you know when you have a bass. And um, yeah, we're just going to wait for that thing to go under like 10 feet. <laughs> And that's when we'll know we have a bass on. The other thing I'm going to be throwing while I'm waiting for that bluegill to get hit is a 5 inch black and blue lunker log on a 4 aught weighted gamagatsu hook. It's got these springs attached, which I love. You can get a perfect Texas rig every time. Just thread it on there, go up through the bait, tuck it back in, completely weedless, good to go. <laughs> Bass just ate it as I was holding them up. We are on again, guys. Finally. Even on there? Yep, he's running at me. Not a bad one. Wow, look at the size of the bass that are eating these bluegills. <laughs> look at that. That's probably a one and a half pound fish eating that entire bluegill. Okay, gotta get another bluegill. Wow, it's getting really dark. It's getting really dark really fast, guys. storm is moving super quick. Yeah, big red blotch coming our way. I'm guessing about 10 minutes. <laughs> but that's getting awfully close. Come on out. I want one more bath. I think he's about to get hit too. Yep. Bass is blowing up on him. He got him. Seems like a pretty good one. This will be our last fish before I go to the car. Here we go. It seemed like a pretty good one. bigger than weeds. Oh, it's big. It's a giant. 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 Giant bass. Giant bass. Giant bass. Giant bass. It is huge. It is huge. Oh my gosh. This is a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This might be a PB. This might be a PB. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. This might be a PB. This might be a PB. He just jumped all the way out of the water. Oh my gosh, right before this crazy storm, guys. Please don't come off, please don't come off, please don't come off. Oh my gosh, he's so big, he's so big. Boom! Yeah, baby! Look at the size of that bass! Oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a stud. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's a five pounder. That ain't my PB, but that's a five pounder. That's an absolute stud. Holy cow, guys. All right, guys. One last look. This big, beautiful bass. What a fish. What an hour or so that we had here. We're gonna let him go. There's one on the Texas rig. That's a good one too. All right, here's Buddy. Had to do a little surgery on him. Hopefully he's fine. About a two and a half pounder. All right, guys, it's been a long time. Bluegill bites definitely slowed down, but we finally got one kind of towards the end of our day here. See if it's a big one. Nathan, you kind of, yeah, I'd go for it. Go right, go right. I can feel him like. Chomping it? Yeah. Yeah, just wait a little bit. I might just drop it. Go. You stop moving. You gotta go. There you go. Got him? Yep. He's running at me. It's not that big. Oh, you man. sure about that? Nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. No, nice fish. It's gonna wait. Guessing like three pounds. <laughs> Two nine nine. Here goes Buddy. He is more than ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. That's a fish. <laughs> is it? Now it's a bass. You see him just get eaten up top? I, I didn't. He just got blown up. He dropped him because he must have had him by the tail and they came up and ate him on top of the surface. Probably a little guy. I think he dropped it again. No, I just switched directions. I mean, I'll sure, I'll sure try. Still feels like he's chewing it though. That's what I thought was mine, but then he was gold. I think you're good. I am. He's running at me. Feels pretty good. Good, 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 good. Big, big, big. Oh, dude, it's another giant. It's another giant. 
That's four pounds all day. Oh, there goes the bluegill. Just try and pull my strips short. Oh, that's not quite as big as I thought, but that's still pretty good. A real flipping shot. That's why I'm now. Dude, he's got like three Senkos in his mouth. Look at this guy's. He's got like three Senkos in his mouth. I don't know if those are connected with a hook. If so, we're gonna try and get as much out of this guy as we can. Oh, oh my God. look at the size of that Senko. <laughs> Who was using that? Oh, that's nasty. Unless that's just one that's like on the bottom that he like picked up. Well, that's it. Hopefully that wasn't in there. Like, I'm gonna give him a little bit of water. We'll get a weight on him really quick. Guessing this is like three and a half, maybe four. I don't know, he's pretty good. Three, three and three fours? Three point seven. Yeah. Oh. You wanna get a measurement? Quarter of a pound shy of four. Having a great day out here. 18 incher is almost four pounds. Yeah, they're healthy. Bleeding a little bit, so we're gonna be real qu quick on this release. Another beautiful big bass, almost a four pounder. She is ready to go. That's a couple four pounders today, a couple threes and a five and a half. Great day. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> I wasn't sure there for a second. Barely hooked on the corner. That was a last cast bass. All right, guys. I think we are going to end this episode here with this nice bass, probably right around that two pound mark. Pretty solid fish. Glad Nathan could make it. <laughs> Glad Nathan could make it out here for the second part of the day, even though it wasn't quite as hot as what it was earlier today. But uh, had a heck of a day out here. A couple of four pounders. That first one was four and a half or so. That one I got here was just okay. There he goes. It was just shy of four pounds. Got that five and a half pounder. And. Uh, yeah, ended up being a really good day. But thank you guys for watching. I will catch you all later.